Okay, now we're in the hang gliding part. And starting with this part, I'm going to do some more obvious uh, save state cheating because this is the part of the game where it becomes less about figuring out what you need to do and more about getting past all the annoyances that Takeshi's put in your way. Uh, you start out uh, with the birds, which the problem with these guys is that the hang glider can only go left, right, and down. It can't go up unless it hits one of those little wind currents that you see. Um, so even with the gun, these birds are a bit of an annoyance because they home straight in on you. And especially in a part like this, it's difficult to get past them. Okay, here's the first island. We're going to land on it to see what's there. And right now, all we see is a jungle. And those monkeys are probably the worst enemy in the game because if you get hit by one of those things, you lose about a quarter of your health, as you saw there. Now, there's absolutely nothing here, and you're pretty much stuck as far as I know. I don't think there's a way to get off of that island. So we'll go on to the next island. Still have to deal with the birds. Uh, there's not too much of a space between the first island and the second island, fortunately. And, really, this is the part of the game where, you know, it there becomes a lot less things to talk about. Because, you know, we've already talked about all the, the different interesting things that you have to do. Now it's more just dealing with bugs, like not being able to land properly. Uh, it, it, it's very, as you can see, it's very, very finicky. And there you go, finally I landed. So now we're on the second island, and uh, as you'll see in a minute, it's a little bit more interesting than the first island. We have a mountain there, we have some natives, and uh, here in just a second, we'll also be coming up on our first native hut. And we can go in there, there's nothing to do here, uh, just there's a guy that'll punch us if we let him. But we can't leave, as that guy said earlier, we can't leave these houses, but... If you press up in a very specific spot, you'll be rewarded back to the resort center. So now we're passing the second island, we're going to move on to the third. And here in a second we'll see the next um, obstacle to our success, which are the UFOs. Uh, the UFOs only fly in a straight line, so they are much less of a collision risk than the birds, but they do shoot you, and every time you get hit by one of those bullets, you lose a significant chunk of health. Now, I do know about that uh, mouse cursor in the lower right corner there, by the way, but as I said earlier, this part of the game is not nearly as interesting, so uh, I make no excuses, but my editing did get a little bit more sloppy at this point. So now we're on the, the, we're going to go to the third island as soon as I can land. And uh, now this island has one interesting thing about it, but it's going to take a minute to get over to it. And since I'm low on health from being shot so many times, I'm going to have to be a little bit more careful this time about moving over there. Uh, another mountain that serves no purpose. Um... And there is a shrine that we can go into, and I'll go in there in just a second, but first I'll confirm that there's nothing over here worth looking at. And yeah, this is really the part of the game where it's less bad because it makes you do weird things, and more bad because it's just bad. Uh, now I've confirmed that there's nothing over there, and now we're going to go into the shrine. And uh, we'll talk, try to talk to this guy, he doesn't say anything. But as you'll see, we're on a different island now. That's actually the fourth island. And uh, that's an easy way to cut out a part of this hang gliding level. It's just to land on the third island, go to the shrine, and get warped to the fourth island. But instead, we're going go to uh, we're gonna go ahead and fly to the fourth island, and, and I just landed on it to show you that that was the island we're supposed to go to, but there's one more place we can go, and one of the people in the village with the resort center was supposed to tell you that uh, there's a, a terrible totalitarian country across the sea called the Red Country, which as you can see, those are some fighter planes from them, and now we're coming up on some interesting scenery here. 
And for some reason, I couldn't get that. Um, I couldn't get that uh, message to trigger. Uh, one of the vill one of the villagers in the place with the resort center is supposed to tell you that, but I couldn't get it to work. Uh, so this is the red country. Pretty hard to get past the um, fighter planes if you only have a little bit of health like I do. And um, and that's pretty much what it looks like. And even if you can manage to get past all this different junk that's in your way, there's a giant mountain over on the right side there that you can't get past no matter how high you've flown. So it's impossible to get into the red country quite appropriately. Now we're finally on the fourth island, and this screen supposedly welcomes you uh, as a Polynesian kid to the island of Choberin. And I guess it calls you a Polynesian kid as kind of a slur. Anyway, we're on the fourth island, and now we're on the last part of the game, which I'll show you in a second. 